Today I'd like to show you how you can save a lot of money by mixing your own hydroponic nutrients. Basically when you buy a liquid nutrient from the shop, um, a lot of what you're paying for is basically just water. So if you can mix up your own um, from powder, you're saving a lot of money. Um, today I'm using the Autopot nutrient, which I find a very good general purpose uh, nutrient, which is um, excellent for a whole range of crops. Mm. Basically, it comes as a two-part mix. Uh, part A, which is a sort of a powder, and part B, which is sort of little granules. These are both one kilogram packs, which will go on to make up five litres of each, each nutrient. So I've gone ahead and mixed up the part A already and put it back into my container. Um, it's a sort of a yellowish colour. So what we're going to do is just run ahead and um, mix up the part B. As I said, these contain one kilogram. It's just a matter of using some you know, decent scales. I just use some kitchen scales which do the job nicely and measure it out into 200 gram lots. I like to go through and um, measure it all up in the one go and then next time when I'm needing to mix them up it's just, I've got it ready to go. It's just a matter of grabbing a pack and um, starting to mix. It also helps keep the moisture out of it as well. Mm. So basically as I said this is a part B which is a granular form. I've just got a little jug here which you know, it holds a couple of litres but we're only going to need a litre of it so I'm just tipping that straight in. Just make sure you, you know, give it a good wash out after you've mixed up the, the first part, part B. And then just a trick with it is you put the granules in the jug and then we'll just fill the jug up to one litre. We don't measure off one litre of water and put that in. We put the granules in and then fill the jug to one litre. Try and keep it nice and accurate. And it's just a matter of giving it a good mix. Um, the slightly warm water helps dissolve the granules a bit quicker. Um, the part A actually being a powder it dissolves um, quite a bit faster than this part B. But I'll just mix that up long for a while. And the other thing I'm going to do is, because the part B comes out quite a clear colour, I'm just going to add a couple of drops of blue food dye. Uh, just so we don't mistake it as water or something, then we know it's a, a mixed nutrient. Just put a little bit of, a couple of drops in there, it's made it a nice blue colour. And um, I'll just continue mixing this for a while, just let it sit for a a few minutes and um, all those little granules will dissolve nicely and then it's just a matter of um, tipping it back into my empty container and we're good to go. But I'd highly suggest um, mixing your own, very simple and you will save a lot of um, money doing it that way. Cheers for now.